Hey everyone, Victor here. Just going to make a quick video. I had a question today on how to add a legend to a Mapbox map. So, uh, or to any map, really, any online map you're working on, uh, Leaflet, Google Maps, Open Layers, whatever. The practice is basically the same. We're going to go over two quick approaches here. So I'm going to use Mapbox just because I typically use Mapbox a great deal. And we're going to look at just adding a legend as just a straight div that we position uh, absolutely on top of a map and secondarily as a control which is a bit more in line with whatever library you're going to use. So to get started I'm just going to make a really basic map box map. So I usually just get started by just going straight to the map box docs. I go to examples and we're just going to make something really easy here. We're going to just display a globe on a web page, copy this code, and fire up a new file here. So we're just going to index HTML, fire up a new file, OK. Um, and I will have to change this token later so you don't copy it <laughs> and use it. Uh, and we're going to get this just working in a local server. So I'm going to go to my Mapster, and then this is Teach and legend and then I use a little Python script here to fire up a local server so that I can test it locally. So here we are. But let's make it that it's not full page because uh, just to make it a little easier for you to see how it works. So instead of this being position absolute we're going to give this a width of 400 pixels and a height of 300 pixels and we're going to give it a margin top of 100 px um, just to make it easy to see what uh, what we're trying to do here um, that's actually not quite looking as nice as I want let's still let's make this 100 pixels and this a bunch higher and that should be a little more reasonable okay so we're not absolute position but let's say we want to add uh, a legend over here or let's say in the bottom left our bottom right here. So we might want to say, oh, a certain color line we put on the map, it might mean a specific thing. So um, as an example of a map I've just been working on very recently, it has a legend. We have this Dwellsy map and we can see in this corner we have a little uh, legend that kind of explains what each of these are. So one way to do this that's very straightforward is that we just add a div that says div id equals legend and we're just going to add this here. We're going to position absolute and we're going to make it um, in the bottom zero, right zero. So what this will do is it'll put it on the very bottom of our whole page, right? So that would work if we were using a full thing. So it's down here right in the corner. So that's not quite what we want. So one way to do it, which is okay, is we can dump it inside the map div and it'll now position inside the map div overwriting in that corner. So that's okay. Um, there's other stuff that gets put into this map div by Mapbox, but our thing still survives there. You can see it's been overwritten. So how do we bring it up? So that's Z index. So we're going to do a Z index of let's just say a thousand. That might be overkill, but let's see what happens. So as everything comes up, it's still there overwriting. So, okay, that's fine. Now we do a margin bottom of, you know, there's something already there. So let's make that 30 pixels. And in general, I tend to just stay 10 pixels from the outer edges. So there, we're no longer on top of that. Now we can't really see it. It is still here, but we want to give this a background now. So we'll say background white. And to kind of keep with the style of map box, we might go border radius five pixels. Um, we will just look up Mapbox. Uh, we can probably go to just about any example that they have here. Um, no, not one, not. Mapbox zoom control we'll go to so we can see an example of their controls. So this is their controls. We're going to want to kind of imitate this style, right? So we need to have a little bit of padding, a little bit of box shadow as well. So we will add a little bit of padding. Let's do padding uh, five pixel, 10 pixel. Okay, we reload and it's starting to look a little nicer there. And to grab the exact box shadow, we're actually just going to uh, inspect this page and we're going to find 
the control, I remember where this is. So this is in the top right. And here's the map box control. And you can see here's this box shadow. So we're going to copy this box shadow. And we're going to add that into our legend. Okay, cool. There we go. Great. So it's looking, um, you could kind of see it. Let's see if we can, I don't think I can really, let's see if we zoom in. Yeah, you can kind of see on this, the white background of Greenland there, the box shadow looks pretty good. It looks kind of like native map box. So we could fill this with all kinds of stuff. We could put headers and flex box and all kinds of things like that. And this approach would apply if we're making a leaflet map as well. If we just substituted this, all this is, is a div that we've just stuck into the map and positioned it appropriately on top of the map. So that's great. There's one other way to do this, which is to add a Mapbox control, or it would also apply in a number of other libraries. But if we go to Mapbox custom control, um, okay, they don't actually have it really clear. So we're just going to look up Mapbox control. And we see here they have this thing called I control, and this is basically adding your own. So you just you can make your own class for this. So we're going to do that a little differently here. So we're going to create a new class, and we're going to call it uh, legend control. And this adds it a bit more using like native functionality instead of this, which is a little bit of a hacky approach, right? This is a bit hacky. We're just sticking it into the div. This way, we actually get access also to the map object inside our little legend. So we can do a lot better splitting up code and keeping it more organized. So what it does is um, we use the control um, methods, which are just, we can just do like an on add map. So the same way that navigation controls work, where we go map.addControl and then it adds control, we will do here map.addControl and we'll add a new legend control. Okay, so by default, this is going to add something. Let's see what it does. It should add it up in the upper right corner, right up here. Here it is. And it just says, hello world. And so that's just added it, added the text that is right here. So we are going to modify this a bit. So we're going to call this legend control when we set it up. And for text content, we could also have this just be HTML uh, contents, inner HTML is there we go there's high and um so instead of having this and and we have our id is legend but let's just change it now it's our class name is legend control so we would just do this legend control we can remove what we had here and we'll see that up in the top corner we'll get something just like what we had added before um no we don't why don't we what's up here uh, it's because we have a margin on it. We have all this position positioning stuff still on it, which we don't actually need to have now. We can remove all this stuff, and it's a lot simpler. So we just reload that, and here it is up here. Uh, there's all this weird position going on with it, and that's probably mostly because I have this, um, or the, the padding is all funky because I have the P element. And uh, we can still add this, like, margin... Uh, 10 pixels, which will just keep it off the edges of the map. There we go, looking a little nicer. Now, the nice thing about this, one of the reasons why it's worth using, other than having it be nicer in terms of the code, is we can also use the map box method to put this in the different positions around the map. So that's uh, delin delineated uh, down here. Where is it? Um, add control, right here. These are the positions we have available. So if we change that to top left, we will get the map showing up, the control showing up in the top left instead. And then depending what you're doing, you can position this dynamically in a lot easier manner. And it, you know it's not going to interfere with any weird behavior, position absolute or Z indexes or whatever. So generally that's going to be how you're going to add legends to your maps. There's no big problem about adding it directly with a position absolute and just make sure you style it to make it match the style of the map so it's not just an ugly thing and then stick whatever html you need inside there to make it look something like this or to make it a drop down or use one of these um, in this case i am using a custom control i believe for this section but here i've just put a, an element right on top it's all up to you and i hope that helps you and we'll see you next time